Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today there's a pack update. So awesome news incoming. I hope you guys are ready. So all the mods for has been updated as of today. We now have Farming with Blockheads, Industrial Foregoing, Xnet, Solar Flux Reborn, Rock Candy, Dwarf coal, coal, which lets us make mini coal, and then we updated Forge. This is awesome because it added two of my favorite mods in here, Industrial Foregoing and Xnet. Oh boy, we're gonna dive into at least something in here. And then Solar Flux Reborn is a really great solar powered mod. So we now have more options for automation and a lot of other things, which is great because before, yeah, we didn't have that many options. So we can do a lot more stuff. Um, Xnet makes it just life way easier. It's one of my favorites favorite piping mods. So we're going to have to dive into it. But first, we're going to have to do some other stuff. Let's go ahead and focus on a few things. Of course, this always gets changed every time I update the one probe. I have to change this because I cannot stand it in that corner. Let's go full transparent, put it in the middle and we'll downscale it. Perfect. All right. So uh, I want to mine. I, I need a lot more resources. I don't have as much resources as I think I uh, I had. So we do have a bit here, but I yeah I just don't have the processing ability, and I don't I don't have enough to make the machines to process them. So we're gonna need to look in and see do we have enough diamonds to produce what I want to produce or what I want to get today, which is a three by three mining upgrade. Do I have enough? I think I do. I think we have totally enough resources. Let's pull out our, our ender pearls and also get a stack of redstone. I also think we need glass for this, right? Yeah, glass and lapis is another thing that we're gonna need. So let's pull out all the stops for this. Where would my glass be? I, I, I kind of get confused when I bounce between, there we go, bounce between uh, packs and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this. So upgrade, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. There's our upgrade base make a block of diamond. We need to make four blocks of redstone. Oh boy, this is gonna be super nice too when we get this going. We need a couple sticks to make a normal diamond pick. There we go. Oh, and we're gonna get so much more diamond. This is totally worth it. So there's our upgrade three by three, and we should be able to place this here, place the upgrade in here and insert. And this is our first upgrade inside of our mining gadget. We have to test this out. So let's just immediately test this out. I'm, I'm back in my cave. Okay, that didn't. Okay, do I have to activate it? Oh, I have to change the size. Okay, so we can actually make it smaller if we want to. Oh, yeah, this is more like it. This is going to make mining way easier, so much better. I mean, later on, we're not gonna have to worry about mining anyways, because we'll get into um, a little bit of RF tools, which RF tools has, of course, the builder, which we can then use for mining. But of course, that requires a bit of power. So we're gonna need a power setup for that. And uh, all of this is going to, to happen very soon. Um, I'm kind of thinking we're gonna go a, a, try to go the biomass route. I don't know how well that's going to work, um, but this is so satisfying. Look at that. And then when that drops, it almost breaks it before it's finished fully hitting the ground. I am, man, this, I am fanboying over this. My goodness. And uh, talk about resources. So we need some sort of backpacks and stuff to carry these things. And unfortunately, bags are a little on the uh, not quite there. Um, we do have these canvas bags from Blue Power. I don't know how well they work. And we do have ender bags, which acts, as, I guess, as an ender chest. I wonder if each bag is a separate ender chest. Now, it, it looks like it's just a different color, maybe for aesthetics, but it could be an, I don't know, different ender chest. I, I don't know. I haven't got to experiment with it, uh, but I'm going to keep mining and I'm going to mine at some different levels um, to kind of see what ore is at different levels and if it's plenty full, if there's more ore um, at different levels than other. Usually... There's more iron higher up around the 40, uh, 45 area, which we're going to need a lot of iron. And uh, also we're going to have to generate new ore. Uh, the origin is going to have to be regenerated because there is some stuff 
that I believe adds some origin, um, such as rock candy. The rock candy mod definitely adds uh, custom origin, I believe. So that's something we might have to reset our mining dimension and why we have a mining dimension in the first place is so that way we can just delete the mining dimension if need be. So I was lucky enough to catch this little fella earlier and I actually decided to trap him because I seen the trades on this guy and I was like, oh, we got to sleep. I was like, oh my gosh, this guy has even better trades than the ax guy who I accidentally killed. I, I needed a lead. All right, a lead was more important. I didn't have enough emeralds at the time. Now I have enough emeralds for this guy, but it's even better. This is actually a useful tool. So let's head over here. Let's get up here to this guy. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, I don't know what mod is adding this in, but oh my. Sharpness five, mending, looting four, which uh, yeah, it's insane. Unbreaking five. Right? And then capturing. I don't know what capturing does, but I'm buying this. Huh. Like, for real. This is a diamond sword. Like, 100%. Sorry, guys. So we ended up getting four leather from those two guys, and it's not normal. It's not common to get four. And the, just the, un the sheer unbreaking. On the Unbreaking 5, does that even have a... It doesn't even show a durability. Is that complete? Is that unbreakable? Is this a already an unbreakable tool? I don't see it. Well, I guess maybe the durability bar won't show up until there's an active durability. Maybe the Unbreaking 5. I don't know. Usually, I see a durability on it. Like, this one shows durability, but this one doesn't. That's crazy. So what I want to get into right now involves the coal generator and it involves silence me uh, mechanisms. So this right here is going to be our basic ore production and how we're going to get started with it. But it's really simple um, when it comes to like how it works, but it is going to get, you know, progressively more difficult to make um, sort of like, I don't know, Ender IO. Let's go ahead and get started with it, though. So to get started, we just need to make a cold generator. This is going to be how we power everything. Later on, we could probably use redstone alloy, which will be something we have to worry about later. We need some refined iron. I've already made some of that. It's just iron that's melted it once again. And then we need ourselves um, some stone machine frames. I should have enough stone machine frames. Um, you just cook st uh, smooth, or you just cook uh, regular stone twice. You just cook it one more time. And that's, that's how you get smooth stone in 114. So that's a that's a mechanic that has changed in the uh, pre, since the previous updates. All right, so let's go ahead and pull all of our stuff out, and uh, we should be able to make. I'm gonna make three of these for right now. Everything else should be fine. We need some copper. So right here is our refined iron. I have some copper. I'm also gonna need some tin and some aluminum. You're gonna find bauxite in the world, by the way. That's going to be your aluminum. Uh, this should be pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to add some redstone. We're also going to need some bricks. I love how this guy's going, uh-huh. Yeah, every time I'm talking. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and make the coal generator. <laughs> That's hilarious. There we go. Coal generator done. And uh, we also get an advancement. If you hit L, you can kind of see some of the advancements of some of the different uh, things. So if you need help with anything, figuring out where to go, in this pack, there's always this. So right here is our silent mechanism. And it sort of tells you exactly where you need to go. So what I've already discovered myself is the next step is we need to make a basic alloy smelter, which is right here. And that's going to be the tin and some bricks, just some regular old bricks, just like that. And this will get us an alloy smelter, a really basic one. And then we can also make ourselves this after we smelt up some bronze. So we get to actually use this thing. I'm going to go ahead and I guess start it over here. The coal generator will go right in the center. I'll go ahead and place my alloy smelter here. And right now we could throw a little bit of coal in here. I actually don't, I don't know how much it consumes and I don't, I don't know too much about this, but uh, it does have some redstone modes, which is good. Allows for a little bit of automation. We need to make bronze though. Bronze is something we need to make. So there's going to be some copper and 10. 
So three copper, one tin, and it doesn't have to be any sp uh, specific order. So copper, two, three, and one tin, and that should make bronze. And there it goes. Um, how much bronze does it make? Is it just one? Uh, it makes four. All right, so that involves, you can, uh, it's, it's rotating between all of these, so it can be either be dust form, or it can also be in your ingot form, which is perfectly fine, which is exactly how much we need to make the crusher. And the crusher is gonna allow us to double our ore output, or double our, our the amount of ingots that we get per ore, which is something we definitely need. Uh, because mining is, you wanna limit the amount of mining that you do. All right, so we're gonna need aluminum here. And we get ourselves a basic crusher, which I'm going to put right here. And uh, this is just going to ore double for us, basically. So we can take bauxite, throw it in there. And because it's basic, it's going to be a little bit slower. But we're going to start getting ourselves two for each. So if we take a look at the ore, you see we get two. And we also get a little bit of an output via cobblestone or whatever that, that may be. So some of the basic things we're definitely going to need is a little bit of iron. I'm going to do 16. And I'm going to have that mixed with some redstone. And that's going to give us some of the uh, redstone alloys that we're going to need later on as well. Um, something else that I'm also going to be producing, not just to make this, because I think this recipe might be broken um, for the simple fact that this recipe is way cheaper than all the other recipes. And they all make the same thing. So either this recipe doesn't exactly work whenever we go to craft it. Because uh, we should have to use the advanced machine in some fashion. And I would prefer to do this one. Um, so I'm going to need some of this uh, bismuth. I hope that's right. Brass ingots. Uh, which is going to require some of this dust. I don't know exactly if I've mined some of this or not. Um, have we? Uh, that would be something interesting to note. Oh, we have. It's right here. So yes, we're going to need some of this to be broken down. And that's how we're going to jump into this alloy smelter here. Um, and we see right here, this also requires some sort of steel of some sort. Um, and I think steel can be made in here with coal dust and iron. Uh, two to two, which I mean, it's basically one to one. Um, and coal dust, of course, we can get from grinding that down. So I guess over here, the best thing for us to do right now would be to take coal and to get it crushed so that way we can start making some steel so we can get these machines upgraded even further and make our processes a lot faster so while i was experimenting with some of these mods i did encounter this really strange mechanic um that is completely new to me and that is the silkworm egg so if you're having problem getting string this is going to be the lifesaver for you as this is sort of a replacement for string we're going to go ahead and place down. We're going to kind of do the same thing that you would do for like a chicken. Um, if you were to farm eggs, we're going to kind of set up a trap like this. Um, and what we're going to do is actually place those silkworm eggs in here. And what they do is it makes the silkworm. I don't know if I can. Yeah, there we go. I can place as many as I want in here. Close it up. And what they do is they'll eventually produce these silk cocoons. And these can be uh, broken down with a spindle and you get the silk thread. And the silk thread is basically just string. So that's a great way to just have a string farm right off the bat. We don't have to worry about making a spider farm or anything. Uh, it's just super simple. Like these just drop from saplings or they just drop from the leaves. So really nice farm here and you can kind of cover it up just use a hopper uh to collect the drops very simple and even hide it i have it next to leaves here i don't know if it has to be next to leaves but it does yeah it does uh it does produce some silk so i'm sure we'll check on it later on hopefully uh there'll be some drops in there so the two things that i really want to get made right now are the crusher the fully upgraded regular crusher and then the electric furnace because this is going to allow us to set up some some kind of automation for it um, and allow us to just get our ore processed as we go mining. So we're going to need these circuit boards, and that's where that redstone alloy needed to come in handy. So we should be able to get some of those made up. And we are going to need two of them, one for each machine. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the recipe that's given here. I don't know why there's a bunch of different ones, but I think it might have something to do with 
the way the, the steel is made or something like that. I haven't encountered zinc, so I know that this right here, this brass, is something that I I just don't have zinc yet. So I know I can't make that uh, that as of right now. Maybe I'll find zinc later. There's not a good way to tell me exactly where in the world that zinc is found. Um, so I don't, I don't know yet. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and make the crusher. It requires a diamond. Good thing we have diamonds in uh, in plenty. So, take the crusher and crusher. All we needed was that basic um, alloy smelter for this. Electric furnace, uh, it's pretty simple as well. It just requires some gold. Nice. So, this is really basic stuff. These two machines are thus going to kind of replace this. I'm going to move this sort of above and we're kind of going to get rid of that furnace. It's just not going to exist anymore. We're just going to pretend it doesn't exist. And the basic crusher, we're going to pull this out here and replace it with our electric furnace and our regular crusher. Now, I don't know if this is powerful enough to power both of these machines running. I don't know. The only way to do that is, I guess, to test it out. If we throw this in and throw this in, that's going down. That's still going up. Um, and they're both running. So maybe once they both get full, they'll even out. The electric furnace seems to be pulling a lot of power. It does go quite fast, though. And this goes a little bit faster as well. So we'll just have to wait and see how these processes work out once this is completely full. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. So from the looks of it, it's it's they're both running. So it just had to wait for this buffer to fill up. And this one, this buffer hasn't filled up yet. But I'm assuming that this one coal generator will run both of these just fine. That's that's exactly what it's looking like. So what are we going to do to automate these? Well, we could try a couple of different methods. One being that we have a furnace here. We could use hoppers. Um, but we do have another thing we can use. I just don't know how expensive it would be to set up a simple XNet system for this. It looks like just a little bit of blue dye, some gold, some redstone. It does require power, but we might be able to get away with the power as well. And it also requires nether quartz, so we would have to go to the nether. This might be something we work on next episode, is setting up our XNet system uh, for automation. Uh, for right now, you can just throw this in and manually move it over for right now. Uh, but you want to get this automated. This is going to be something that you definitely need done. And uh, XNet is really good at doing uh, things like this and automating these things. It's going to be kind of interesting to see, though, what we do with all these. I mean, the outputs and stuff. I guess it'll just automatically cook up stone as well. And yeah, we're going to have to do some more mining. So something that I probably want to do. I want to upgrade either efficient, I, I don't know, I want to upgrade the speed, I think, on our mining tool. And there's also a, a cool feature called the void. So, so let's take a look here. Um, we have the, where's it at? The efficiency, right? So I want the efficiency. I want to see how fast we can make this, get this going a little bit faster. Um, we have the magnet, which will pull items, but we also want to kind of void junk. There's not really a good thing that lets us void junk in here. And I guess this is just going to require interpearls. So we might not be able to do that today because I don't have enough interpearls. Um, what was the light? This was, uh, yeah, nether. We have to go to the nether first. So we can definitely do the efficiencies. Oh, yeah, the efficiencies. Just one and then efficiency. And we throw that in there and just keep upgrading it. Oh, it's just redstone. Oh, wow. Okay. Does it have to be progressive, though? Like, do we have to have each step? I, I hope not. Let's, let's go ahead and work on this. Let's get uh, the redstone needed for this. We have so much redstone, and, like, we need to use it for this, of course, if this is how it's going to work. Let's get our piece of glass. And, man, yeah, because if we can make this really fast, I will be super happy. Because this thing would just fly through stone at that rate. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and make this thing. So that, and then we'll break down some of this. 
There's one, two, three, four, and then efficiency five. Please tell me this is giving is going to give me efficiency five on my laser. Please tell me. Oh my. We're going to have to test this out. Holy smokes. Um. Yeah, that uh, this works uh, really well. Okay. Um. I mean, that that that's going to get the job done. Uh, I think diamond hunting is no longer going to be much of an issue. Um, this is really nice and really fast. Oh, my. I can't wait to get some more upgrades on here just to see the possibilities. I really want to know what the lighting upgrade does as well. Like what what creative idea did he come up with the lighting? I have no idea, but that'll be something that we'll have to get into because I think next episode we're going to jump into uh, the nether and we're going to give the nether a little bit of a, a taste. Let's see. Are these guys, is this, is this not collecting? Is this collecting elsewhere? Oh, it's like popping all around. It's not actually dropping in the hopper. Strange. I don't know why it doesn't drop it right in the hopper. Huh. But I, I bet there's other farms that we could use this. Like, we could probably set up some kind of water farm that, like, these guys are in a, a contraption like this. And then we have, like, a little water column that's going down into a hopper. That might work better. Um, and I don't know if leaves have to be nearby. But this is what it drops, is the silk cocoons. It's working really good. So I think I have an idea for a setup for the automation. Just a really simple automation setup. Because I noticed there's wire here. So copper in the redstone alloy should allow us, uh, if I can find the copper, to make some wire here. And this should let power transfer from the coal generator, I would assume. So that makes it a little nicer on us. We can place the coal generator here and we can set something like our electric furnace at the bottom. And at the top we have our crusher. So, Right here could be our crusher at the top. Down here will be our electric furnace. And we just kind of need to break into here and set up some automation. I think that would work. So we could place a chest down here, right? Um, just get herself a hopper underneath. Assuming the hopper fun functionality works like normal. So that way it pulls the stuff out, goes into here, and all is well. Now, I hope... I hope we can pump items directly into this. I would assume we, we should be able to. So, if we break this... Let's just try throwing a hopper on top. Or that could happen. There we go. I guess it'd probably be nice if I just actually built up. So I could see up there. Um, We can try and get it up here. I'm going to fail every time. Let's break this. And just mine up. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to be here all day trying to get this to work. There we go. Hopper in there. So we can just access the hopper to put the items in. This, sh this should work. Take the, the wire and hook the wire up. Okay, so the wire doesn't connect... The way that I'm, th I, I thought it might. I do know there's a wrench. Now, does this wrench work similarly to many other wrenches that connect cables? Okay, I don't know what these colors mean. But can I get it co to connect to this side? I can't. Well, maybe if I connect it to this first... It doesn't want to connect. Okay. So that might mean that we can get our, our cables hooked here. Let's see. Does shift right clicking work? Nope. 
I'm thinking maybe we can place just the f the furnace up here, coal generator right here, and then run cables down like that to power both of these. I don't know. Let's see if this powers both of them. It is. So this is working. Um, of course, this isn't getting power just yet, but this is getting power. Oh, what's this guy have to trade? These guys show up so frequently. Totem of Undying. Oh my gosh, this guy's crazy. Yeah, look at this. Okay, so it's powering here. I guess this this puts priority on everything else. But they should still both work. And this automation will work. Can you not? He's going to try and get in here. Alright, so uh, I guess the only thing we can do is just try it. This isn't going to work until this buffer's filled. And there goes this buffer. And once this starts producing, it should produce a couple of these things, drop them into the hopper, and then that gets produced, and then we get our output down below. Very, very simple. Very, very simple automation for this. Super, super simple. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video, guys, a huge thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next episode where we have a lot more adventuring to do. And as always, thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,